Welcome back, Magic Moon Wanderers. It's me, Luna, and me, Janine. Talking to the moon. To the moon. <laughs> and today we are in St. Helens. Might sound strange because it's only 20 minutes from Liverpool. But the reason that we've come up to St. Helens is because we've been catting for my brother from another mother. So they've got my two cats. Brother. Yeah, we've got, they've got two cats, Bubbles and Candy. And Candy's a baby. So we've been playing with them. We've had a little browse about what we can do in St. Helens while we were cat sitting for the weekend. And we found World of Glass. World of Glass? What's World of Glass for? So, World of Glass is a museum that tells us the history of the glassmaking in St. Helens because without the glassmaking in St. Helens, we wouldn't have windows, we wouldn't have loads of glass stuff. I'm trying to make that sound dead exciting, but I can't. <laughs> um, let's just get there and see what it's all about. It does look cool, though. The walk takes us, walk takes us 20, 25 minutes, but it takes us through the centre. So we got to have a little moochie around here. Look at this. Look at that. Big clock tower. I don't know what that building is. <laughs> and we're here. <laughs> we're here. One of the reasons that um, World of Glass started here, it wasn't... Um, Oh, no, 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 I'll try and find the right way to say it was because there was an abundance of like coal and materials to make the small furnaces that they needed for the artists to do like individual pieces of glass rather than like sheets of glass that you find like in your house windows and buildings look at that opposite world of glass lots of glass world of glass lots of glass <laughs> These lovely people just told us that we need to go in here first to go to the cafe and then we can also pay in here to go in. <gasps> wow! What the? Echo! <gasps> Sing Luna! Wow, I was expecting to come in here yeah, and it'd be like like commercial with a reception. That's so cool. It's actually really pretty in this cafe. We've just went and ordered um, some soup and some sandwiches. I've got a coffee, Luna's got, and we've both got a cold drink. Also in here, there's a gallery and a shop. So we'll show you a little bit of them as well. Um, it's a really nice atmosphere. It's really arty. Um, can't wait to go and have a look. Yum, yum, yum. Before we go into the actual tour, We've just come outside to look here. We've just found out that St. Helens' twin city is Stuttgart in Germany. That's cool. And we've got all these little things over here. <laughs> look at these. Come on, let's go. <laughs> That's the dream. That's the dream statue. Like That's one that we went to when you were four. Really creepy. We went to watch an eclipse by this. So this is a giant statue oh, that you can really find creepy. not far from here. We will. We'll go and see it at some point. Right, let's go into the museum. Oh. Hi, you okay? Oh. Do you need some water? We've got to fill our bag. 
Wow. Oh, look, there's some obsidian. I nearly wore my obsidian earrings today. So it's like volcanic glass obsidian. <gasps> there's loads of crystals. Wow, look at that smoky quartz. That smoky quartz is gorgeous. The big rose quartz. Wow. Imagine the hanging from your neck. This is um, going to tell us that glass was first found in Egypt and then has its Roman parts as well. These are like Roman glass. We got some examples of Islamic glass. And over here, some Chinese glass. And it was called Poor Man's Porcelain. <laughs> and got glass windows, stained glass. Wow, the stained glass is beautiful. Venice and Renaissance Europe. Ooh. So I think these are like the first examples of this type of like glass, like a little wine flute, wine flute, wine glass, flutes, what are those called? The big things, that cold wine, a decanter maybe, Northern Europe glass, wow, you can see how it just gets prettier and more ornate as you go through the years. You might have heard of Pilkington's Glass, because that's a huge company, makes windows and stuff. And they made this mirror. And then mm. look at this glass iceberg. That's that was, iceberg. Yeah, it's a glass iceberg. It's made in Tokyo, Japan. By Huya. I've got a piece of the Titanic took it. Mm. Whoa. Little cute things. Some more European glass and American glass. Whoa, look at that. Wow, look at that. So that's an ice sculpture. It's made by a French artist. <laughs> I've just turned round and Luna's went mailing. <laughs> Glass roots, earth into light. This is the part of the museum where it tells you about the history of St. Helens. Me and Luna have only really been to St. Helens a few times to come to the Chinese buffet because it's one of her favorites. But I've also been to the rugby stadium here. Um, yeah, there's, it's a decent one as well. <laughs> really good team. Oh. Lions too. Ugh. Don't go. <laughs> This is really cool. I would love to be able to stop and read everything, but Luna's like not in the mood today. She's wanting to rush. Here's the rugby stuff. The rugby stuff, yeah. <laughs> and then you come out by this no, magnificent piece of work. Oh, sorry, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yep. It was. It cost six pound for adult, four pound for a child. Uh, the museum isn't. It's not massive at all. There's lots of information in there, and if you if you can and you can stop and read everything, it's definitely worth it. This is the chandelier that was in Manchester Airport and you can read about it here. It tells you all the history 
As always with these kinds of vlogs, feel free to pause and zoom. It's pretty impressive. And it's got like this mirror underneath it, so you can see it from the bottom. <gasps> it's changing colour, I didn't know that. Wow. That's beautiful. So we are now going to the demonstration of glass blowing. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, it smells amazing in here. And just by doing this small glass animal, it shows you how quickly she's got to work with molten glass, and also how quickly that glass will settle down and become solid. About 24 hour, 24 hours a day. You can see that uh, Nikki's forming the tail now and the neck as well. So Martin's gone over to the furnace and he's picking up his first gather of glass on the end of his blowing iron. And the iron he's using is hollow. So you'll see a bit later that you'll be able to blow down it. Now the consistency of that molten glass is like sticky toffee or runny honey. And as hot as a volcano. Oh. Marching likes to use the telegraph, I believe, because it's a bigger newspaper. But it really doesn't matter which newspaper you use. I'd like to use the soil for the Daily Mail. Go to hell, so you can see there's a layer of carbon on that newspaper. And the hollow blowing pipe is blowing down it using a thumbing technique. They have to keep reheating it all the time. This furnace here is never switched off, but this one here is the hottest one, and that's the reheating one. Marching's now Ooh. using something called metal jacks. You can use every part of these metal jacks. You can use the ends, the sides, the tips, etc. It's huge now. It's almost like they're spotting each other. Like proper teamwork, love it. I think because it's so big and it loses its heat quickly, then you have to keep going to reheat it. Are you enjoying it? It's good, isn't it? It's interesting. Now you've been through the museum, um, and it's got to be strong enough to hold that bigger piece of glass. It's like they're doing a dance at the moment. And then be broken off at the pointy line, as you see, the jack line, rather. <gasps> oh. Wow! Come out like a giant tulip. It just fell off the thing and smashed. Well, I, mean, I imagine that has happened in the past to them because that's happens with any craft you have failings and things happen that you don't want to so that's the finished piece oh it might not look it's going to be the, the colors of the Australian flag but it's it will still warm once it's cooled down wow nikki's put on some kevlar gloves to protect her hands while she handles it and that will go in the annealing oven Face. Squidge your face. Go on. What are we doing? Oh, did you just look at that on camera? Yes. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do it. 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 Oh, I'm going to do it.
to leave that. Come now. on, where are we going? Okay, so we're just going to go to the art gallery for 15 minutes. He looks like Scrooge. He looks like he's just like had a fart or something. He looks like Scrooge. What do you think these two are doing? Oh, he's up to something. He's got a twinkle in his eye. It's called a Glendowell's Oak. Ooh. Look at this one, Luna. Who is it by? What is it? Oh, Aphrodite between Eros and Hemeros. Oil on canvas. William Blake Richland. So that's Aphrodite there in the middle. Oh, I think that's cool. Chips and gravy. Ah, uh, I remind you of a Hogabost beach. Yeah. Where is it? The Firth. Oh, it is in Scotland, Lou, as is well. It? Yeah, look. Firth of Lawn. So I think the Firth of Lawn might be Isle of S by the Isle of Skye. We'll check. Look at this mosaic. We've never made mosaics. I think that we should try and make some, you know. Absolutely. Why? Do not think it'd be fun to try? Oh, I do. Look at I'm that. I'm a perfectionist. I would get. I would like. Would that freak die. you out? I would die if something just went wrong. Well, I was going to say that. I go peaceful. It's a photograph. It is a photograph. Some more photographs. What does this say? I like this type of art, like ink on paper, of especially of buildings. I just think they're so simple, but that's a good one. I like this. Look at the sock. These are fun. Yeah, these are all by an artist called Carol Miller. I'll have to look her up because I, I like her work. It's really interesting. Look at this one. It doesn't look like a minute. It's boss. I love it. She like, she's mixing. Different styles, yeah, love that style. Beautiful with grunge, love it. <laughs> wow, look at all of this glass work. Coming in here, the gallery's lovely, small again, but it's really quaint. The cafe's nice, like the, um, what's it called? The glass blowing. What's it called? Glass blowing. The glass blowing exhibition demonstration that we've just watched was awesome. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth coming to have a little visit. Not that expensive as well. No. There's a mother full of memories. I could like just stay in here singing all day, could you? Ah, that's so cool. Luna has just completely embarrassed me in the gallery. You do to like, me all the time. I was like, Can, do, you do, do you do exhibitions for small artists? My mum's a small artist. And the woman was like, yeah, just email the curator. And I was like, oh, ooh. Even though she embarrassed me, I was glad that you were thinking of me. Do you want to sing again? Yeah. We totally forgot to do the outro for yesterday's visit to the world of glass. So we really hope that you enjoyed our little tour around there and my really bad singing. Luna's lovely singing. Um, so I'm sending out loads and loads of love to everybody. Talking to the moon.